During First News at 5, I took you back 25 years when Camel High School won state championships in basketball and baseball in the same year. You can find that story online right now at WKBN.com. New at 11, where some of those high school heroes are now. There's no big display at Camel High School commemorating its dual state championships. Banners hang in the gym, and the state championship trophies are in the case next to small photos of each team. But that's it. The rare athletic feat of those boys of 1993 will live on in their legacies. I just want a nice uh, haircut and all that, you know, see how it goes. Michael Farrington came to Camel from the Bahamas, and it took a court order to allow him to play basketball his senior year. His teammates say he joined the military, served in the Middle East, though I was unable to contact Farrington to find out what he's doing now. But we, we accomplished this tonight. I mean, you know, these teams weren't bad, but... Ryan Merrill was one of four players on both the baseball and basketball teams. Today, Merrill runs the adult beverage department at a Kroger's in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We peaked at the right time. Alex Sikoris was the starting point guard. He married a camel girl and is now a pharmacist at a Gainesville, Florida hospital. You couldn't ask for a better senior year than this. Catcher Pat Chofey played baseball at Ohio Wesleyan. He now lives in Austin Town and is VP of sales for the Canfield software company Neo3. Benji Santiago made a gutsy appearance in the state championship game. He had a key hit despite a bad leg that had him limping off the field. Santiago married his high school sweetheart, coached baseball for 23 years, including three at Camel, and still lives in Camel today. Raymond Butler scored a run and pitched some strong innings in the championship game. He now lives in Warren, his wife part of a group that won the Megan Millions jackpot. Butler is now a stay-at-home dad. I really believe we saved the best for last today. Baseball coach Wayne Zetz would take Camel to the state championship three more times, finishing runner-up all three of them. He coached Camel for 25 years, was a special education teacher for 35 years, and is now retired and living in Camel. I'm just really happy for all of them. Basketball coach Brian Danilov spent 25 years coaching on and off in Camel, with stints at three other high schools in between. Today, he's an assistant basketball coach at Westminster. I felt like yesterday I was... Tom Beeson was a key player on both the basketball and baseball teams. He now works for Aqua Ohio, lives in Lowellville, and has coached baseball in some form his entire adult life. I think my game plan was just to throw my game. Kevin Dill was also a key player on both the baseball and basketball teams. Today, Dill is president of the Boardman-based Creekside Mortgage Company. He too married his high school sweetheart. They live in Canfield, and he still plays basketball twice a week. Now, Camel's feat of 1993 of winning two state championships in one season has been done a number of times. In fact, three schools, Kettering Alter, Cleveland State Ignatius, and Upper Arlington, have won four times in one season. And just last year, champion won baseball and softball titles at the same time.